Coffee? Please. You locked me in. Oh, did I? Yeah. You don't want me to come? Ah! You don't want me to come? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. I'm using a stroller right now. We have our little girl here. We're going on our first walk since having her at the house or being released from the hospital because um, I had I needed time to heal so it's basically 99% there and you know I needed to get out of the house I'm kind of getting that cabin fever yeah so we're here on our first little walk with the baby it's crazy the fact that like she's here now I'm, she hasn't really developed too much of a personality just yet I mean she's a baby she's a newborn and it's just us working the entire time having to change her diaper having to wake up at three o'clock in the morning to feed her it's it's a, it's a lot of work right now but it's just the it's the little things you know her little smiles and it's become such a routine which we love we love routines <laughs> <laughs> so kind of i don't want to say it works out for us it's like we're kind of forced to do it but it works out for us because like i said we love routines and her feeding schedule her pooping schedule and her sleeping is just literally at the same time every day and we're loving it the only times that we're not loving it is at night because that's when she loves to be up the most so if you have any tips on how to get her to sleep and stay asleep at night please help us yeah <laughs> like she's gotten a little bit better since she was born of course but oh, still we got these bags that we're not asking for so yeah, it's, rough. Mm -hmm. it's rough before we move forward make sure to like and subscribe and press that little notification bell so you know when we get a new video there aren't too many people here at this park but seeing people here at this park makes me happy it makes me feel like the world is now moving forward it's good stuff we're on our way back home um, one thing that we forgot to mention about this whole uh, being new parents is it takes twice as long now to get out of the house. To get out of the house, to get in the car, to get out of the car takes just twice as long. Right? It's stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. <laughs> We're almost late to everything. So far we've been on time for doctor's appointments and all that good stuff. But we're cutting it close, so we're not people who are late, so it's, it's, it's getting to us. It's getting to us. Washing these bottles has been my life this entire time. I didn't realize how many times we would be actually washing these bottles or using them altogether. I'm not even gonna edit any of these, like, those are legit diapers in like a 24 hour period. So 
adjusting to parenthood you think you're gonna have everything you have a bunch of equipment here but you really to be honest you're really not the one thing that you really are gonna need is experience and let me tell you you'll learn that on the way okay you'll never have experience you'll never have everything you need so one thing that actually has been a lifesaver that's kind of like i do recommend that you guys get is this it's a baby wipe warmer but the thing is Cynthia doesn't know how to close it, so it defeats the purpose. <laughs> That's me. You're never going to get enough sleep, let me tell you that right now. Ever. <sighs> so now that there's a baby, there's a lot more shared responsibilities around the house. It's just, it comes with the territory. I think that with me, I just need to do as much as I can because she's taking care of the baby most of the time. Breastfeeding is another adjustment. Breastfeeding, I hate to say it, it's the worst because the torture your nipples go through, it's unimaginable. My nipples are fine. They crack, they bleed, they're sore, and that's just the first week. As you keep going, if you push through, and I suggest you do because it kind of goes by pretty quick, it doesn't seem like it will, but it will. Once you push through that first week, it's fine. But that first week is hell. Well, with all that said, make sure that you're taking everyone's advice as a grain of salt. It's You're not gonna get perfect advice every single time. Being first time parents, you have so many questions running through your head that you don't, it, it's kind of scary bringing home a new baby. So when you're at the hospital, make sure to ask lots and lots of questions. At the hospital, they literally give you the basics, how to change a diaper, how to give her a bath, and how to burp her. Literally, that's all they teach you. We didn't go with questions just because we didn't really know, I guess, what questions we would need. And when we got home, we had tons of questions, tons and tons yeah. of questions. You know, It's nerve-wracking bringing a baby home knowing that you're at the hospital, you have someone there 24-7, and now it's just you. So my advice, Take out the grain of salt. <laughs> My advice is um, take a list of questions that you have about any type of baby care that you may be wondering about. I wish someone would have told us that, but I mean, it is what it is. Like we said earlier, you learn on the way, you learn as you go. Make sure to write your questions down because you are not going to remember. You're gonna be looking at a ton of things and not knowing where you're going. So make sure to write down your questions. Like. I, even when we went back to the dog room, I know I had a question, but what was it? I don't know. Our little friend is crying. We gotta go take care of her now. We're parents. <laughs> yeah. It's something we gotta do now. Yeah. All right, well, mm -hmm. see you guys later. Make sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.